All right, so we're back with another example video of how to use this definition of the derivative or the definition of the slope of a of a um, of a line, curved line. Once again, I forgot my limits. Very important. The limit as h approaches zero, and so now the function that I'm going to use is I'm going to use one over x. Okay, so then I've got f of x plus h is going to be equal to 1 over x plus h. And so then I plug it into my formula and I get f prime of x is equal to 1 over x plus h minus 1 over x, all of that over h. Well, now I got to find common denominators up here. So I'm going to rewrite this as x over x squared plus hx minus x plus h over x squared plus hx, all of that over h. Well, then I end up with doing some algebra. You can, you can uh, pause and do the algebra yourself. I'm going to end up with minus h over x squared plus hx, all that over h. And so then I can't let h equal 0. Can't let h equal 0. But if I sort of just ignore that for a second, I'm going to write this instead of dividing by h, I'm going to multiply it by 1 over h. That h and that h are going to cancel out. Because h is really, really, really close to 0, that's going to cancel out. And I'm going to get f prime of x is equal to negative 1 over x squared. Or I'm going to say f of x is equal to x to the negative 1. That's another way to write this function. And I'm going to say that that gives me f of x, f prime of x is equal to negative x to the negative 2. And then if you sort of learn the power rule yet, or you're about to learn it, I'm going to say in general looking at this example and looking at the previous example that I did in the previous video, and adding a little something here, and adding a little something there, I'm going to say that if f of x is equal to x to the n, then f prime of x is going to equal n x to the n minus 1. And that's our power rule for derivatives. Okay, so you're on your way.